Awesome. Hey guys, Gary here, and really nice to see you guys. Uh, you know, on Facebook the other day, and a friend of mine, she posted a picture of her wrestling with a top knot. And I was like, ah, I, memories kicked in, man. I hadn't seen a top knot like that since about 15 to 85. And I told her, I said, you know, of course, back in my day, we didn't have your fancy yarn or elastics to tie our hair off. No, we would use the intestines of our fallen victims uh, and our enemies back in those days. So we've come a long way in 500 years. And, and I think back to about 500 years ago, not a lot of top knots. And then about, you know, 1600s came along in the Edo Empire with under Ilyasu. He kind of made the top knot fashionable. And people wanted a top knot because, ooh, we're a samurai. And now, 500 years later, I see these guys wearing man buns, not even real top knots. So guys, if you're gonna do a real top knot, be a man, do a top knot. They're just not really cool. I don't think they were cool back then, but we were kind of the punk rockers back in our day. And we did hair a little bit differently. We'd go to village with these really awesome top knots and people would like, ooh, who does your hair? And we're like, we do, man. Because that's the other thing, just don't. So leave the top knots, they ain't cool, unless you train martial arts or you're one of those really bad dudes. And you know who I'm talking about, go ahead, wear a top knot, rock it. But for the guy with a satchel and the Starbucks coffee and women, I think you could agree with me. They're just not cool. So leave the top knot, grow the beard. Beards are awesome, right? Use like every man Jack beard balm. That stuff is awesome. Beats the fish guts that we had to use 500 years ago to keep our hair in place and looking sharp. So stay cool, stay calm, leave a comment, like it, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you guys and hear your stories about the top knot, what you had to go through when you had a top knot.